What is up guys, it's SS Modern Warfare here, Gamertab Banjo Chicken, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is opening up an Xbox One console this time. Um, so, you know, you might want to do this if you want to clean it, repair it, modify it in some way. And yeah, we're just going to basically take it apart and try and try and show you the best way to do it or the way I personally do it myself. So, first thing, to open up this thing, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver or plastic prying tools. Plast plastic prying tools are probably preferred because uh, with obviously with a metal screwdriver you're when you're poking around at the clips you're gonna mark the plastic a little bit because you're using a metal screwdriver. If you use a plastic prying tool you're less likely to um, damage the plastic on the casing but if you're someone like me and you're not really bothered about that then it doesn't really matter. So, take off this grill here, right where the eject button is, and that little USB port in the top. So, what I do is I get the screwdriver, and I put it in the back here, and just lift up. You want to do the same thing on this side, and then you can literally just pull it out like that. Pretty simple and easy to do. Next step is this. It needs to come out, so you can pull this out. Just get your fingers in there and you can pull that plastic bit out. Throw that over to the side. Okay, so you don't take, there's no there's no vent at the bottom to take out. This is not a grill that you can take out, it's part of the case. So don't try and like pry this out because that's not going to work. Next thing you want to do is head to the back of the console. And we're going to have to start trying to pry this apart so I'll try and get a better angle here so what you want to do here is pull pull up on this side push down on this side and kind of push outwards a little bit you can see it's coming apart there that's that clip off now I'm trying to keep it separated like this for as long as possible while I grab a screwdriver and you need to unclip this clip at the warranty sticker now, there is a warranty sticker there. I took it off previously. I didn't have a very successful attempt at taking this warranty sticker off. There's a couple of ways that you can try and take the warranty sticker off if you don't want to damage it. Um, obviously, if you rip that sticker that's usually on there, what's going to happen is if your console ever breaks in the future, you can't send it back to get repaired because you've avoided your warranty. So, um, you're screwed if that happens. But um, if you don't really care about that, I mean, you're opening up the console anyway, so you're, if you have a fault with it, I assume you'll try and fix it yourself, then just rip the sticker. There is a method of taking the sticker off without damaging it. I tried it, it didn't work for me. It works with the 360, which is to use a hair dryer. If you use a hair dryer, heat up the sticker for a long time, you can peel it off without leaving any bits of sticker attached to it. And then when you put the console back together, you can just put that sticker back on and it'll look like you haven't opened it up. Um, I tried that with a hair dryer. Didn't work at all uh, for me. So I tried to go one step further and use a blowtorch, as you do. Not, probably not the best idea. Um, ended up kind of melting the sticker a little bit. Um, so you can see me try to peel it off there and uh, didn't exactly go according to plan. But... Honestly, if you don't really care about the warranty sticker, just get your screwdriver in there, break the seal, and get that clip off. Okay, so moving further down, you now want to go to this grill, and you want to start poking your screwdriver in here, pushing it upwards like that, and you'll start taking these clips off. And just keep going, working your way down. This is where I'm saying the screwdriver can damage the the plastic a little bit here because you're you're really sort of jamming it in there but if you have a plastic prying tool you're not going to damage it uh, at least not as much as with a screwdriver right there we go so that's us got those clips off you can see where they are now these three and that one of course up at the uh, warranty sticker so now it's basically trying to come apart, so we'll place this back down. Right, so at this point, 
you've got to be very careful because there's a ribbon cable that attaches this front plate to a circuit board on here, the RF board. If you damage that ribbon cable, your touch buttons are not going to work, your power button and your jet button. But anyway, the power button certainly will not work if you rip that or damage the ribbon cable. So it attaches the front plate to the RF board, which is a circuit board on the front of the console. So as I open it up at the front here, this green board, there's a ribbon cable attaching this to it. You can actually see it there. See that ribbon cable. So what you're going to want to do is not just pull the, the whole case off. You want to get into the front, you, and I know you can't see this, I can't, there's no way I can get the camera angle to a point where you'll be able to see this, but I'll show you, I'll show you it afterwards. You've got to take this ribbon cable out. So, there I've pulled it out, that's the ribbon cable there, that's plugged in to this green board on the front of the console. So, this is it here, it's plugged in here and the little blue part is wrapped around it so you need to get your finger in flick the blue bit up and then pull the cable out uh, to, to help you if you're having trouble if you get a screwdriver in and just push that point out like that that will f slacken it up and it'll make it easier for you to pull the, the cable out but that's what you're going to want to do there and now we've essentially got it pretty much opened. Uh, there's two cables attached here. You've got your little speaker. So you want to pull that out. And you've also got the Wi-Fi. This cable runs to the built-in Wi-Fi. So you just want to pop that one out as well. Okay, so the next step is to take the Wi-Fi uh, chip off. So what you're going to need is a Torx screwdriver for that, Torx, Torx, however you pronounce it. Uh, one the right size for these screws. I'm not sure the exact size of this because the, the little uh, information on it is worn off, but I will um, I'll put it up on screen, the correct size you need for this. And you don't have to have a tor Torx screwdriver, everybody says you do. You can use a flathead screwdriver if you get a flathead screwdriver that's the right size. You'll be able to get it in there and you'll be able to take the screws out. The only thing is if you use a flathead screwdriver you can damage the screw heads that way but you can use one to, to get the screws out uh, if you don't have any Torx screwdrivers but you have some flathead ones lying around. So I'm going to take these screws, just two screws for the Wi-Fi. I think it's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that's on this little chip. And it's plugged in to the motherboard, so you're going to want to, well, not to the motherboard, it's plugged into a little cable which is plugged into the motherboard. So if you pull it out, just make sure you pull it directly up because it's attached to a cable, like that. And then also this cable here, which attaches it to the front RF board, you want to pull that off as well and you've got your your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip off. You can see there's the plug that it connects to. Okay, so now what we've got to do is take off the screws on the console. All right then guys, so the next step that we need to do is take off the screws that are holding the actual case in place. So they're all marked. There are eight screws in total that you need to take out and they are marked with a little C next to them. So there's C128. So right next to the screws you'll see it, a little mark, a little marking in the casing itself that says C1, there's C7, C6. You can't read it on the camera, but they are there, they are noticeable. So you know which ones to take out. So we're taking out all of these screws. I'll probably skip through this. All right guys, so that's all the screws. Got one here, one here, these two in the middle, one up here right at the end, another one here at the side, this one up by where the Wi Fi card was, this one right here, and that's all our eight screws for the 
case, what's holding this back case in place. So with this one, all you have to do is pull this off now. And again, you don't want to just like yank it off because there is a, again a cable, it's not a ribbon cable, so you don't have to be as delicate with this one. But if I move this, you want to sort of open it like this and you can see this cable here that's coming down. I'll try and move this forward a little bit. So you can see there's this cable plugged in here that just attaches the Wi-Fi to the motherboard. So we're just going to unplug this cable. And we can then take this case off. And that is essentially it. So yeah, that's it guys. We've got the console opened up. Um, if you want to take the hard drive out, you can literally just lift this right off. There's a, a SATA cable and a power cable that you can unplug. And then the hard drive is attached to this, but that's easy to take off. There are screws in the bottom. Again, there are Torx screws. You take those screws off, you can pull your hard drive off and you can replace it with a another hard drive or an SSD or something like that. Um, it's not attached to the bottom case now because we've taken those screws out so if you want to lift the whole metal off the case completely you can. Um, and if you want to take the RF board out, three screws holding it together, it's just plugged into the motherboard. It's plugged into the motherboard right here and you can just pull it off. Simple as that. We'll be doing a tutorial on how to swap that white LED light out for a different colour um, and probably in the next video or something like that. Um, again, if you want to take the disk drive out, let's just do it. Unplug this. Simple as that. They're not screwed in because we've taken those long screws out. So you can take the disk drive off. Easy as that. See what model mine is. DG6M1S-02B drive. Uh, Pop that down somewhere. And then if you're wanting to take the motherboard out itself, there are obviously more screws holding the board in itself. So on the back here, you've got more screws. If you take out these four screws, that holds the heat sink in place. Um, there'll be X clamps to stop it from like falling off if you take the screws out, so don't worry about that. Um, and then of course there's a couple of screws here. Take those screws out, another two here, take them out, you should be able to lift the motherboard out without any major issues I hope, and yeah, that's it, that's how you open up an Xbox One console. So thanks very much for watching this video, if you liked it or found the information useful in any way then please leave a like rating, I really do appreciate that, and subscribe for more tutorial videos in the future. And uh, yeah, comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.